Hi guys, this is a jack on this section of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Up here, you're going to Ibejeleki, and this is going to Ekate VI, another section of the project. We'll be exploring this section of the project to see things going on on Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Come with me, guys, it's going to be an awesome experience. Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is a mega road infrastructure currently under development by the Federal Government of Nigeria, contracted to High Tech Construction Limited. This is a continuation to our recent tour on this road infrastructure. The construction of this highway spans across nine different states in Nigeria, starting from Lagos to Calabar in Cross River, all in Nigeria. The length of this road, when completed, stretch about 700 km in length. Why divided in phases in the construction progress? The priority is on the first phase of this project, which will span from VI, where the project actually started from, down to Ibejuleki, all in Lagos, Nigeria. In case you're wondering, where is this particular place? This is Lekki, and I went on a tour from Jakonde in Aja heading towards Lekki VI. And this is what you'll see in this particular episode. To talk about the legacy project of Mr. President, when we started the coastal highway, 700 kilometer, that is traversing a Lagos, Ogun State, Ondo State, Edo State, Bayelsa, Rivers, uh, Akwa, and Cross River. People did not understand the merits of this project. People did not see this project as an investment. And so, today, the first section is going to be completed by May 29th. And we're going to toll it, and we're going to get back our money within five to 10 years. We have checked it. We're also acquiring a number of land within the corridor because we've seen that tolling of roads alone is not just going to give you return on investment immediately. So along these corridors, we are acquiring land where we use for tourism, where we use for factories, where we use for housing, and so on and so forth. I can't believe I'm actually looking at Marawa Junction. I'm walking all the way from Jakonde roundabout, and right there I'm seeing Jakonde. You know, the more I go on this road, the more I feel like I want to see what is happening at the front. And that's how I ended up trekking all the way from Jakonde down to Barawa Junction and I'm still going to VI so I don't know all I could just say is wow wow to the fact that the construction progress of this project is moving very fast I visit here very often coming back to see what they have achieved I am very impressed we'll be looking at the construction progress of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway from Jakonde roundabout down to Marwa Junction and a little touch of VI. In case you don't know what VI means, it means Victoria Island, all in Lagos, Nigeria. This is Jack on the roundabout. Now, let's explore what is really going on on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, coming from this section heading towards Lekki VI, Victoria Island. Hi guys, so this is going towards Ibeji Lekki, and this is coming from VI, all right? So, definitely the, the drove will pass through this express, then connect back to this section. On this section, as you can see, um, what I saw here is excavation work is still currently ongoing at this particular section of the project. And some filling as well. One lane is some field, the other lane is some field. So the middle, they are still doing excavation work and some filling. So this is what, what is going on at, at um, Jakonde, heading towards Aja, Ibejileki, and the rest of the road. And this is heading towards VI. So let's go there and see what is going on at the VI section of the project. I remember your boy OZ. So basically, I'm coming towards Ibejeleki. Um, I'm, I'm heading towards Ikate VI section of the project. See, so this is what you see when you visit the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway at the Jack on this section of the project. 
Obviously, the road will actually interact with this particular existing road. I don't know if there will be fly over here or something like that, you know, to kind of interchange uh, on the on the road. So I, I I don't know the plan here. This road connects Lake Ekbe Express, and this is the coastal highway. And this is another section of the road, entirely from the coastal highway. So there there will be a coastal highway here, and there will be a community road here as well. So this is going towards Ekate. We're still exploring the Jackonde. You can see that that Jackonde estate. So this is what you see when you visit Jack on this section of the project. So what I'm seeing here already is they are still doing excavation work, some filling at this section. But let's get close and see things in details. It's coming from that section I showed you at the express. And this is going straight to VI, Ikate, another section of the project. What I see here is that there are some field excavation work is still going on here. And grading, some filling is what is happening at this section of the project. So let's get closer. So let's get close to see other things going on heading towards Ekate on Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. This is another road currently constructed by Great Box and is done and a motorable. So this is the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Basically, this is what you see as of October coming to Jaconde section of the project. As you can see, that, that Jaconde estate, that's Jaconde estate. And this is the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. One thing about this particular place is the fact that it is very wide, unlike VI. Like what I showed you at Eleko, it is the same thing I'm, I'm seeing here. This place is wide. Like if you're asking questions, if the rail track will actually go through this particular section, although I can't really give a comment on that, but based on what I'm seeing here, this road is wide enough to accommodate both the, road, both the road and the road track collectively. So this is what you see at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway at the at the Jack on this section. So some filling is almost done here. Excavation work is still ongoing as, as, as some section. They are grading, some filling and excavating at the same time. So this is what you see heading towards VI. So let's get more closer to see other section of the project. So guys, as you can see, this is what is currently going on here at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. That's the thing I'm seeing men at work at this section. Let me get closer so we'll see what they are doing. I'm seeing an excavator, I'm seeing an excavator and the rest uh, at that section. So let's get closer. This is me giving you an overview of where I've walked through. These are the sections I've come through. This is what they look like. We are looking at construction taking place at this section. So you can see these are the excavators excavating and grading the road. Maybe asking this is a coastal road. What is happening at the shorelines? You know, the beaches, what are the things going on there? As you can see at this section, we have businesses and other things taking place at the shoreline, you know, that business I'm seeing here, this is what they look like. The coastal road construction is meters away from the ocean front. This is more like a year roundabout at the Jacondi junction. I've shown you the first phase, this is the second side. So I want to believe there will be a flyover bridge at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road at this section. So we're heading down to VI section, although I'm not familiar with this particular section, like the names of these particular uh, places, but this is heading towards VI. And like I've shown you from the Jack on the roundabout, heading towards VI, excavation work and some filling is currently taking, taking place right here. So, and and from there, if you look closely, you see men at work. So we're getting closer to see what they are doing at that section of the project. So guys, I, I employ you to Stay with, uh, stay with me till we, we, it's like we, are, we are discovering the, the things happening 
on the Lagos Calabar Highway at the Yakonde section. So you can see there are many buildings that were affected. And this is what it's looking like right here. That building there was actually affected. Part of it was affected. I'm seeing about, about, about two buildings here that were actually affected. And we're heading down to see what's going on here. Well, like what I was showing you earlier, coming from the Akonde section, I'm seeing that this particular section, one lane is already some field and, and one section, this is what it's looking like. It's still going to, uh, excavation work is going to take place at the other section. And this is heading towards VI, like I, I mentioned earlier, we're heading towards VI, Ekate Rada. So, this is what you will see when you come at Lagos Calabar Coast Highway as of October 2024. But one good thing is, Work is taking place here, so you can see we have the contractors working hard to ensure this project is delivered. Like the uh, minister mentioned, that uh, this particular section of the project, that uh, the phase one, will be completed on May 2025, and are working hard to beat the time frame. The first session spanned from VI down to Ibejuleki, and I've shown you from VI. I've shown you a layer core section where which is Ibajuleki and this is me coming again to show you the Jack on this section. So you can see they're actually grading this particular section and where the need to be excavated will actually be excavated. So this is what you will see when you come out there. Guys, I'm currently at Lekki and this is what's currently going on here at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Right here, this is where the road actually connects. I don't think I can actually go there for I've come about three to four kilometers from the Jacondi roundabout, and this is another section of the project. This is the process of which the sand feed the road. You know what? Let's go up there, see what they do after tipping the sand. Based on what I saw, after tipping the sand, they wet the sand, they start grading. This is what I saw clamping up where they've actually tipped sand. Let's explore the process.
after this process, this is what they achieve. When I asked where have this construction get into heading towards VI, they told me it has gotten to VI. You know what? I needed to see everything for myself to be sure of what they told me. This was how I started walking down to Marwa Junction in Lekki, from Lekki to VI. What I saw on the road is that uh, one particular lane is fully sand filled, grid like what you what you're seeing right now. It's on the one lane, while the other lane has been excavated, and work is currently ongoing. You've seen everything as we progress on the video. Here's a section that is fully sand filled on the both sides of the lane and walk progress both going to VI and going towards Jaconde. I continue walking down to Marowa Junction. Many of you have actually recommend I get a bicycle or alternative mode of transportation to actually make the walk easier for me. And the one thing is that uh, it's only drone on my two legs that can actually give us this amount of information I'm getting because they don't allow private mobility. It's actually a construction site. I can't bring in like car, bicycle on site. You get the point. So I don't have drone, but I have my dual go, my two legs. And this is why I'm going this far to give you an update of what's going on on Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. So please guys understand me. So we're heading towards Marawa Junction. So guys, right there, that's Marwa Junction. Last time I was here, this place was looking like what I showed you at Jakonde Junction. That was what this place was looking like. Coming back after one month, seeing the amount of development. In fact, I'm so impressed with the speed of uh, construction on this particular project. So right there, that's Marwa Junction. Guys, I am so, so, so hungry. Like, I need to get something to eat before we continue this trip. If I, if I go faint for here, like, trekking all the way from Jakonde and right here, I'm at Marawa Junction. I don't even know I can actually do it, but you guys made me do it. So please, subscribe to the channel so you get to see more on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. So let's get close and get something to eat. I don't know if I can actually get anything here. I don't know, but I, Maybe this is where I will actually end the, uh, the trip because I, I don't think I have the energy to to go through the uh, Marawa to VI. So expect that update from me very soon. This is Marawa Junction currently as of October 2024. From here, I headed straight to VI. The Victoria Island, popularly called VI, was the starting point of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. A lot has changed from the last time I made an update on this particular section. On a separate video, We'll be exploring the Victoria Island section of the project. This one is getting longer already. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification for more. Have you seen the Bejuleki Eleko section? This is it showing on your screen.